Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on this video and giving this a listen. So this video is going to be about inflation. Uh, I've got a little bit of an experiment planned for us. Uh, it's quite, inflation is a, is a quite debated topic, heavily debated topic. Not everybody agrees on where it comes from. And um, I thought using this um, bit of a rudimentary method, um, might help visualize the way I visualize um, inflation. So it might help you see it um, in a similar way. And uh, basically it, it stems from uh, Milton Friedman's research on inflation and um, his famous quote um, that I'll paraphrase, I won't quote it directly, I'm 100% sure um, the exact phrasing, but in, in a sense he says, uh, inflation, uh, can only come from one thing and one thing only, and that is the more rapid increase in money supply than it is then in output. So meaning if a country is not outputting any more, so if output is fixed and money um, supply is increased, then we see inflation. And inflation, there's a distinction between price fluctuations and inflation. Inflation is a general increase in prices, quite unexplainedly. Price fluctuations is vastly different. Price fluctuations is oftentimes due to supply and demand factors. Uh, for example, the Keystone Pipeline getting um, shut off. That's a, um, a change in the supply of, uh, of raw uh, materials used to make gasoline coming in to America. And that, therefore we saw a price increase. Uh, so th there is a distinction to, uh, to be made between those things. But anyways, back to the experiment. Um, the experiment is going to be, I'm going to use water to explain what I mean by increasing money supply. So you can think about it as at a certain level, uh, water level, aka money supply level, we have prices along that level for certain goods. But when you add money, water, you will see the level increase and thus you'll see all prices um, rise with it. Now, this is a uh, simplified version of it. There are um, ripples. So along the way of this price increase, you'll see the, the water rippling uh, and that could be uh, due to the way the money is introduced into the, uh, into the system. Uh, but eventually, over th through enough time, the water, the ripples will um, even out, and you, that's why I like this analogy so much because <clears throat> it also kind of illustrates the short-term uh, fluctuations in, in prices uh, what, when you um, get an increase in, in money supply. So first, I'm going to begin by taking a um, a bucket of water, and this is going to represent. Um, we're going to pour about five gallons. I'll see how, how it goes. So I'm pouring that in, pouring that in. Let's see how much. Can we go a little bit more? I think I might do a gallon. Okay, that's just about five gallons there. So that's going to represent our um, 2019 price levels. So. Think about this as this was the money supply um, in 2019. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my Sharpie. I'm gonna spin this around real quick so I can make, and please ignore these, uh, these failed uh, markings, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna lightly mark it here, and here, and here, and I am going to write here gas. So that's going to represent our gas price. And then I'm going to have Big Mac, BM for Big Mac. I'll just write out Big Mac. And then we're going to have coffee. Coffee. Okay, so uh, this is 2019. Let's see, where can I do that? 20. I'll spin this around again. Um, you'll see here we have 
um, our goods here at the 2019 level. Uh, so what were the prices roughly in 2019? So uh, the gas average was about um, $2.94 and a Big Mac meal was about $5.99 and so for coffee I'm going to use um, the price of a tall Americano a uh, tall Americano, so it was about two forty-four. That's just my my preferred drink. Um, okay. All right. So there's our levels. So move this closer. Give it time to focus. There we go. Okay. So coming back to the money supply. Um, so the, I, I pulled this, this data from the St. Louis Fed, uh, St. Louis Fed's website, um, and they printed out the uh, well, where they tried out the M2 money supply. The M2 money supply is a bit more broader. It, it takes um, a few more things into like um, certain cash deposits and savings accounts and things like that. It takes a bit more into account than the M1 um, money supply. Uh, I'll flash. Uh, some images here now, but in 2019, the M1, uh, the M2 money supply was um, 14 trillion, about 14 trillion, so uh, 14,632 billions. And in uh, 2022, I think I used May. So in 2022, it was roughly, May of 2022, it was roughly 21,754 um, billions. So that's about 21 trillion. So that's a change of about 48%. I'll show uh, the calculation now. So, uh, so what does that mean? So we've increased the money supply by about 48% since about May of 2019. That's a huge uh, increase. What has that done to prices? Well, um, let's, let's find out. So now I'm going to take my water bucket here and I'm going to pour, I actually need to calculate this real quick. Um, so now I'm going to pour um, a, about a half a gallon now. Um, well, 0.25 of a gallon. So, I'm, so here we've got a half a gallon. So now I'm going to add another um, quarter of a gallon because that represents, um, I'll do, do just the under quarter of a gallon because that represents about 48%. Okay, so look what has happened. Now our oil prices are below um, this level. So now I'm gonna take the Sharpie again and I'm gonna mark out, um, and this is again, it's an estimation, um, but I'm sure if we had to create an index here or scale here, we, we would get pretty close. Um, so now I'm gonna say up here, and uh, yeah, go up here, go up here. So now the cost of gas is about uh, $4.12. Well, that's locally. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, um, it's more, but that's about a 40% increase. And then the price of a Big Mac meal is now up to 8.61 and that's about a 44 percent increase and then i'm going to do so i'm going to mark this one actually accurately so this one's a below the level of money supply um, and that's for a certain reason i'll explain now why but that's about um, 30 
$3.25. That's an increase of about, uh, I think it's 33%. Okay. So now, let's closer. So now you can see we added about 48% more in money supply in our water. And look how close that has gotten us to the actual increases we see in prices. So um, gas has gone up by about 40%. That's pretty close to that 48%. And again, um, this isn't always going to, over the long run, um, this, it, it, the um, prices will, in, um, will approach if we had to actually add 48% to each of these lower prices over the long term, um, if money uh, printing slows down, we will approach those levels. For now, we're a little bit under or over sometimes. Um, and that's just because there are also supply and demand factors that influence uh, prices um, in the short run. But um, in general, um, the, the base, the baseline of prices, so prices will... It's going to be very, 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 very hard for enough supply and demand issues to, um, to occur for prices to come back to these pre-inflated levels. It'll be very, very hard. Um, okay, and then we can see here on the Big Mac, the Big Mac's up about 44%, so that's also very close to um, 48%. Um, uh, percent. Um, now, the coffee, well, that's just because I use Starbucks prices and Starbucks have economies of scale, so... Uh, so the prices are a little bit below the level, but again, in the long run, it, they will approach uh, these levels. And I'm sure if I took like a latte, a vanilla latte or something as the price, we would see more because then there's, there's more materials in that. So we see the um, we see more goods uh, affecting that price, and more of those goods are, are affected by this um, increase in, in price levels. So there we have it. Uh, I think this is a really good um, explanation of um, of inflation of why printing money leads to inflation now here comes a really big crux so let's say you had an a you had a savings account let's say you had a savings account down here in, in the 20, in 2019 um, and you had saved up about uh, let's say ten thousand so you saved about ten thousand dollars and it was just sitting there uh, it was just sitting. It was just sitting there in your in your savings account, and all, all of a sudden, inflation comes. Well, what's the problem with that? The problem with that is, uh, what your ten thousand can buy is now pretty much forty eight percent less. So, your ten thousand is now worth about just over six thousand, six thousand two hundred. That's that's robbery. <laughs> That's when they say taxation is theft. Why? Because it robs your savings of value. Tell me an investment that will uh, be able to make 50% a year. That's very hard. So it's very, very hard for your savings um, to keep up with, um, with um, the rate of money printing. That's why it's really, really uh, frustrating when we see governments uh, print money because we have no say in that. We didn't ask for that. Uh, some arbitrary Fed decided, person at the Fed decided to do that. Um, but anyways, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope uh, it explained things the way I see inflation. I hope it helped you also visualize inflation a little bit better. Again, please comment. Uh, please engage with me. Ask me questions. Criticize me. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.